the final interview is one of the most important part of the hiring process. Once you're in this level, you're one step closer to being hired. However, a lot of applicants failed to pass this round. Therefore, today, I will share with you the top 10 commonly asked final interview questions and tips for you to nail those. Let's begin. Final interview question number one. If given the chance to get hired, what will be the reason for you to leave this job? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask this question to understand your potential reasons for leaving a job in the future. It helps them gauge your priorities, work values, and potential challenges you may face. Your response can reveal insights into your long-term commitment, career goals, and how well you align with the company's culture. So here are my pro tips. Express your desire for a stable and long-term commitment. Mention that you are seeking a role where you can grow professionally and contribute to the company's success over an extended period of time. Research about the company's values and culture. Explain how your values align with theirs. Emphasize that you are looking for a workplace where you can thrive and contribute effectively. And of course, you need to refrain from mentioning negative reasons for leaving your current or previous jobs. Instead, concentrate on the positive aspects of what you are looking for in a new opportunity. Final interview question number two. How do you see yourself in the next five years? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask the where do you see yourself in the next five years question to gain insights into your career goals, ambition, and long-term planning. It helps them assess whether your aspirations align with the potential growth opportunities within the company. Your response can indicate your commitment, motivation, and whether you have a strategic vision for your professional development or not. Here are my pro tips. Express your desire to grow within the call center organization. Discuss how you envision taking on additional responsibilities, possibly moving into a leadership or specialized role, and contributing to the team's success. You can also discuss specific skills you aim to acquire or enhance that align with the evolving needs of the call center which will demonstrate your dedication to staying current in the field. Remember to not tell your interviewer that in the next five years you'll be working abroad or traveling overseas because that's a major no-no. You should be able to grow within the organization in the next five years. That means that you will be committed and loyal to the position until then. Question number three. Once you pass this final interview, how soon can you start? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your availability to start work to assess your readiness and commitment to the position. This question helps them gauge how quickly you can transition into the role if offered the job. Your response can give insights into your current work situation, any notice period you might need to fulfill with your current employer, and your eagerness to contribute to the new organization. Here are my pro tips. If you're currently not employed or can easily transition, express your immediate availability. This highlights your eagerness to contribute to the team and your flexibility to start quickly as well. If you are currently employed, mention any notice period you need to fulfill with your current employer. This demonstrates professionalism and honesty about your existing commitments. Regardless of your current employment status, convey your enthusiasm for the position and eagerness to join the call center team. Express that you are ready to contribute and make a positive impact from day one final interview question number four how do you handle stress and pressure why the interviewers ask this question 
interviewers asked, how do you handle stress and pressure to assess your ability to cope with challenging situations and maintain effectiveness in a high-pressure work environment? This question helps them gauge your resilience, problem-solving skills, and emotional intelligence. Your response provides insights into your coping mechanisms, whether you can remain focused under pressure, and how well you manage stress to ensure continued productivity. It's a crucial aspect, especially in roles like call centers, where dealing with demanding situations is common. Here are my pro tips. Emphasize your effective communication skills, especially when working under pressure. Explain how you remain calm and articulate in stressful situations to ensure clear communication with customers and colleagues. You may also discuss your strong time management skills. Remember to tailor your response to your personal experiences and the specific roles of the call center role. Providing concrete examples and showcasing a proactive mindset can make your answer more impactful. Final interview question number five. What is your understanding of an excellent customer service? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask about your understanding of excellent customer service to assess your awareness of customer-centric values and your ability to prioritize customer satisfaction. This question helps them evaluate your communication skills, empathy, problem-solving abilities, and your overall approach to ensuring positive customer experiences. Your response provides insights into how well you align with the company's customer service standards and if you grasp the importance of customer satisfaction in the role you're applying for. Here are my pro tips. Stress the significance of effective communication in providing excellent customer service. Discuss your ability to listen actively, express empathy, and communicate clearly to resolve issues and build rapport. Emphasize the importance of putting the customer first. Highlight your commitment to understanding and meeting their needs, ensuring a positive and a memorable customer experience. Also, you may acknowledge the importance of teamwork in delivering excellent customer service. You may demonstrate your ability to collaborate with colleagues, share knowledge, and contribute to a positive work environment. Final interview question number six, why should we hire you? I do interviewers ask this question. Interviewers ask, why should we hire you? To give you an opportunity to sell yourself and showcase how your skills experience and qualities make you the ideal candidate for the position this question helps them assess your self-awareness understanding of the role and ability to articulate how you can contribute to the company's success your response should highlight your unique strengths relevant achievements and how you align with the organization's needs here are my pro tips Emphasize specific skills that make you well-suited for the role, such as excellent communication skills, empathy, problem-solving abilities, and proficiency in relevant tools or software. Show that you understand the responsibilities of a call center position. Discuss how your skills and experience align with the job requirements to emphasize your ability to handle customer inquiries and provide exceptional service. You may also communicate your positive attitude and enthusiasm for the role. Employers value candidates who bring a proactive and optimistic approach to their work. Final interview question number seven. Why should we not hire you? Why do interviewers ask this question? The question, why should we not hire you, is often asked by interviewers to assess your self-awareness and honesty. It provides an opportunity for candidates like you to acknowledge any potential weaknesses or areas for improvement. 
By asking this question, interviewers aim to gauge your ability to reflect on your own limitations and your willingness to address and overcome challenges. It also helps them understand if you have a realistic view of your skills and areas that may need further development. Your response should demonstrate accountability and a proactive approach to self-improvement. Here are my pro tips. Be honest about any specific skills or experiences you may be lacking. Frame it in a way that highlights your awareness and your commitment to addressing those gaps. Remember, the goal is not to disqualify yourself but to demonstrate self-awareness and a proactive attitude toward personal and professional development. Show that you are committed to continuous improvement and can turn challenges into opportunities for growth. I want you to not tell your interviewer that you are a perfect candidate and there is no way that they shouldn't hire you. That's a major no-no for them because of course all of us have limitations, all of us have room for improvement. Question number 8. Tell me something about yourself that's not included in your resume. Why do interviewers ask this question? The question, tell me something about yourself that's not in your resume, is asked by interviewers to gain a more personal understanding of you as a candidate. It provides an opportunity to showcase aspects of your personality, interests, or experiences that may not be evident from your formal qualifications or work history. Interviewers use this question to assess your communication skills, self-awareness, and how well you can articulate information beyond what is listed on your resume. Your response can offer insights into your character, values, and potential cultural fit within the organization. Here are my pro tips. Share a hobby or interest that reflects positively on your personality. For example, if you enjoy volunteering, it demonstrates a sense of community and giving back. You may mention a personal trait or skill that aligns with the requirements of a call center position. This could include your ability to stay calm under pressure, empathy, or excellent communication skills in both professional and personal contexts. Remember to strike a balance between showcasing your personality and keeping the information relevant to the job. The key is to provide a glimpse of who you are beyond your resume to emphasize qualities that would make you an excellent fit for the call center role. Question number 9. What do you know about us? Why do interviewers ask this question? Interviewers ask what do you know about us to assess your level of preparation, research, and interest in the company. It gives them insights into whether you've taken the time to understand the organization's values, mission, products or services, and overall business environment. Your response demonstrates your commitment to the job application process and your ability to align your skills and experiences with the specific needs and goals of the company. It also allows you to showcase your enthusiasm for the role and how well you would fit into the company culture. Here are my pro tips. Conduct a thorough research on the call center company that you're looking to enter. Understand the services they provide, their clients, and any recent news or achievements that they have. Familiarize yourself with the company's core values. Connect these values to your own work ethic and beliefs, which will demonstrate your alignment with the organization's principles. Remember to tailor your response to the specific details of the call center and the company itself to demonstrate that you've done your research and is genuinely interested in becoming a valuable member of their team. So you gotta do your homework and that homework is to do a research bago mag-apply sa kahit sa ang call center company, okay? And last but not the least, question number 10. Do you have any questions for me? I do interviewers ask this question. Interviewers ask if you have any questions for them to assess your interest in the position, the company, and your level of preparation. 
It's an opportunity for you to demonstrate your curiosity, enthusiasm, and engagement with the hiring process. Asking thoughtful questions can also help you gather essential information about the company culture, team dynamics, and job expectations, which will help you in making decisions if an offer is extended. It also shows that you are proactive and invested in understanding whether the role is a good fit for you or not. Here are my pro tips. Ask about the training process for new hires. This demonstrates your eagerness to prepare for the role and ensures a smooth transition into the call center environment. You may also inquire about the team structure and dynamics. Understanding how teams collaborate in the call center can provide insights into the work environment and your potential colleagues. Remember that asking thoughtful questions not only demonstrates your interest, but also helps you gather crucial information to make an informed decision about accepting an offer if given the chance. Tailor your questions based on the specific details you want to know about the call center and the role. And that's everything. I hope that you've learned something from this video. If yes, please hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. If you have video suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below because I promise to create those in the future. And if you have questions about this topic, feel free to let me know because I'll be happy to answer all of those for you guys. Any thoughts about this topic will be highly appreciated as well. And by the way, even if I'm no longer working in the BPO industry, I still do referral so if you want me to refer you please send me a message at my facebook page named the ubc so we can talk about it and i'm also thinking of launching an online course or selling merchandise to all of you guys so let me know if you are interested in me doing that i'll talk to you soon bye